Yo, what's up guys? So, for this video, we are going to be testing the slug rounds. Now, they did get a patch, or a buff, August 14th. Um, link will be in the description to the ammo charts. They changed a lot of stuff, but most interesting to me was that they changed slug rounds because they were hilariously bad up until this patch. Um, they've been bad for a while now, so it's glad to see them get a pretty significant buff, actually. They seem to do a lot of damage, even to when you're wearing some types of armor, which we will see. Uh, starting off, though, I wanted to show you guys the overall flesh damage model of the slug round. Um, every single shotgun I'm using is shooting slug rounds, except one buckshot test, so I don't really have the ammo title up or anything. But it took three shots there to one single leg. And I say one single leg because if you start shooting each other leg, you're going to be doing less damage. You're not going to be getting that blacked out limb multiplier. But yeah, shooting two legs is kind of more like a normal PvP scenario, I feel. It's kind of hard to shoot the same exact leg if a dude was like running down a hallway or something. But four shots max Whoa. is pretty good. Leg meta is definitely still a thing. If someone had Ford armor, that's going to be the quickest way to take him out. Unless they don't have a visor and you get a lucky face hit box hit. And uh, I'm showing you here the damage to the stomach. Now, slugs do one tap to the chest, although the chest plate and the stomach have two different damage models. And three shots is quite a bit, actually. I, was, I thought it would be two or something, but... Yeah, so, uh, you know, I see a lot of people, they'll be like, Oh, I hit a guy like 20 times, and your video said it was only two shots with BS. That's because the arm hitbox, or the arm model, kind of covers your chest, so most of the time, in a real PvP, you're going to be hitting arms a lot, and it's going to increase your overall hit count on players. Just wanted to show you guys that I get told that a lot. Like, people will... Because even myself, I'll shoot a guy like four times in the chest, and it's like... Why didn't he die? And it's basically because the arms are absorbing a lot of the damage. Had I not been shooting his arms into the chest, for anyone wondering, it would have taken five hits, but it took four shots because I was hitting the chest also. But starting off with some armor tests. Um, we're using the Karasa armor here, which is a level three armor. You get it at level three Ragman, and it costs 104k. That's a little too pricey, in my opinion, but starting off with the slugs rounds here, and it is going to take four shots. Now, one thing I want to point out when he dies is the overall durability of the armor. Um, I believe it ends up having 52. And durability is something I haven't talked about much in my videos, but it matters a lot. Um, basically, because it has 52 durability, that's kind of where the armor would be good against slugs. Um, let's say I went up against a player with slug rounds and he had 52 durability armor. I would probably just one-tap the Karasa. Um, so yeah, that's something to keep out for. Try to always keep your armor fresh. Don't let it get too low, especially Ford armor. I see people run Ford armor at extremely low durabilities, and I I don't know why. Oswaldo threw a grenade there. I don't I don't know what his deal is, but yeah, using the UN vest here. And uh, remember when I talked about that 53 durability? Well, the Untar is a level three armor as well, but it only has 45 durability, and it one tapped it right through the the vest. Um, I don't think we showed a chest shot on a, a non-naked player, but it'll one-tap a naked player in the chest every single time. And yeah, I thought that was rather interesting. Um, here's a real-life clip of a level 3 armor getting shot by slug rounds, and it didn't penetrate, but that's what it did to the cinder block, and I mean, that's that's a lot of damage. I don't know what that cinder block represents, but I think you'd be pretty messed up. <laughs> By the way, that video is from Paul Harrell. Link will be in the description to his channel. He does a lot of, like, real-life armor test stuff. It's pretty cool. Now, that bullet did not penetrate. And, I mean, I've seen a lot of his other videos, and I, th I think that means it's lethal if it breaks the, the cinder block like that. I'm not sure. I don't know what the cinder block is supposed to represent. But, yeah, we're onto the level 4 body armor here. It's a tac tech rig. This armor is actually a vest and a piece of armor. It's a plate carrier. Pretty cool. Costs 140k. And, uh, yeah, this is a level 4, so it's gonna be the same as Gazelle. And, uh, I'm sorry, but this is where the body armor part of the video stops. I figured 21 hits was enough of a sleeper. So I didn't want to bore you guys by testing level 5, which would have been, like, 40 hits, and forward armor would have been, like, 100. So, yeah, we're gonna end the body armor test there. If you ever hit a player 21 times, you're probably just gonna end up dying to him anyways. And before we get on to the helmet part of the video, I wanted to confirm with you guys that slug rounds to pack a do one tap every single time. If you don't hit the arms and if you're not hitting the stomach, you gotta keep those things in mind. But now on to the helmets, which is kind of interesting. Um, this is a level 3 helmet, the 6B helmet. Um, and it takes five shots. It's kind of surprising this, considering 
to a level 3 body armor. It took one hit. I'm not quite sure how they calculate armor. It's kind of weird that the helmets are stronger than body armor. Because if you did get hit in the head with a slug round, you would be seeing stars. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think it should be two shots, maybe. I don't know. I mean, one hit is pretty much going to put you out. But here we are with the face shield. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty strong. Uh, also took five hits. It's a level three face shield. So, yeah, the face shield and the helmet are going to be pretty similar. Those results will probably be pretty similar with all the visors except the Alton. Uh, the fast helmet visor has 50 durability, I believe. So, you know, maybe you can get a couple more extra shots into it. But, yeah, overall, I mean, I I'd like to see the helmets have a little bit less shots, especially the ZS helmet. Even though it's a level 4 armor, again, after about two shots in uh, quote-unquote real life. And I know they don't want the helmets to be 100% realistic because there would be virtually very little point to wear them. Um, you wouldn't really notice them working against rifle rounds and things like that. So, you know, it's I like that they want some game balance with it. But, I mean, 11 plus hits is a little ridiculous. And uh, I did not get the total amount there. I just figured I'd shoot him in the face to show that you can just one-tap someone in the face and be on with your day. <laughs> Their current armor system at the moment is kind of interesting. Um, I think helmets need to have more blunt damage go through them, especially more than the body armor does. I mean, it had four shots going through it, but that was about it. And uh, Oh, in this clip, by the way, getting a little off topic, we're doing buckshot against Paka. That's just to show you how much better slug rounds are than buckshot against armor. Buckshot do have more flesh damage, but slug rounds are better at piercing armor, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of really happy that slug rounds finally have a purpose in the game. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about slug rounds one-tapping the UN armor, at least. It stopped against the other Karasa. I kind of would like to see it be two hots to level... Two hots. Two shots to level three, like the UN. For those of you who don't know, I was actually on the Escape from Tarkov podcast, and I told Nikita, he asked me what to do with slug rounds, and I told him, give them 21 pen so that they would go through level two and stop at level three. But for whatever reason, they go through level three vest, but not the helmets. I'm not sure. So I'm sorry, Nikita. You uh, think that's OP. <laughs> I think it should be two to three shots to a UN vest. Maybe just two. That would be fair. Considering they do have a lot of trauma behind them. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of the slug rounds. Um, they're pretty interesting. They were really bad before. Um, last patch, it was like 10 shots to a, a UN vest with slug rounds. So it's nice to see they got a pretty significant buff. There were a lot of changes to the ammo. Um, I a ton of them. They mainly changed the armor damage ratio. Slug rounds were just the one that stood out to me, so that's what we tested. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you did not like it, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and uh, be sure to follow me on Twitch. Link will be in the description.